Hello, this is Pro for Public Library from Home, and I'm Jim Cassetta, local history librarian. And as I was looking out the window of my house today, I said, what a beautiful day, it would be great to go fishing. Unfortunately, that's really not going to happen. But what I will do is I will tell you a history of fishing in Pearl River. And it starts in 1896 with the establishment of the Pearl River Fishing Club. The, it was a group of men who fished all of the local brooks and the Hackensack River and the Hudson River. They would go off on excursions and then they would come back to the area of the baseball field at Franklin Avenue School and they had a picnic ground there and they would hold their annual picnics. Uh, the first photograph picnic was probably around 1902. There is a picture of this in the Perover Library. Well, I grew up fishing here, and so did my neighbors. And you know, you pick your uh, fellow fishermen's brains. And what happened is that uh, my neighbor, Ed Covey, was an avid fisherman, and he would fish in the Pascack Brook. He would fish there. The Pascack Brook uh, was a fantastic stream you could limit out in a couple of hours or not even in an hour of uh, native brook trout. At that time you could uh, take five to ten depending on what fall or spring. Now, this was uh, just after World War II. People fished for uh, bass and catfish and brook trout in the Pascack Brook. When uh, Ed's friends from New York who worked they were worked for a fishing supply company, actually an outdoor fishing supply company, uh, hunting too, they would uh, tell Ed that they were going to come up on the train on Saturday morning. So what he would do is to go and fish out his limit very quickly within an hour at sunrise and then an hour later he'd go down into uh, Pearl River to the train station meet his friends, and then guide them up and down for a day fishing on the Pascack Brook. Unfortunately, in the 1960s, a car wash uh, attendant took a hose and dumped all the soapy effluent into the river. This was about 1966, and it killed all the native brook trout. It is stocked today, but it's very difficult to fish because the level of the brook has gone down. Now, the Muddy Brook was also a place of fishing. Uh, Red Hansen in the 19, early 1960s was involved with a group that was uh, stocking it with brook trout again. And this went on for a while until Letterly decided to start dumping into the brook. It dumped dyes and other chemicals, and that killed the trout off, too. If we go further to the east, you had the Norishan Brook, where people would fish for suckers and um, trout before the reservoir was built in 60, 1966. The Hackensack River had historically been a place where uh, Native Americans had weirs and they caught all kinds of fish, eels, sturgeon, uh, again very large brook trout and when the reservoir, when Spring Valley Water Company came in they had told uh, George Hadler the uh, second that there would be recreation, fishing and boating on the reservoir and they placated him and, and lied to him because once it was built fences went up and that was the end of that. When I was a boy someone had cut into a hole in the fence around the bottom of Acacia Terrace. Now the woods in there before a home was built uh, in the 90's was a lover's lane and sometimes we'd fish in the evening and we would catch nice sized bass and catfish in, in the reservoir, yellow perch and a lot of sunfish. And when we would come out, what we would do, a uh, large carp also, but when we would come out through the hole, we would come and we would see the uh, couples necking in a couple of cars on the little dirt path they would drive into the woods, and we would bang on the cars and scare them, and then run all the way up Acacia Terrace to my friend's house who lived on Lark Street. 
The Hudson River, of course, is uh, a great place to fish today. Pollution had damaged it, but the um, state has cleaned it up somewhat, and there are always fishing opportunities in the Hudson River, along with crabbing. The last brook in Pearl River was the Cherry Brook, where people used to also fish for trout. And it was, uh, unfortunately, put underground when uh, the library, the Pearl River Franklin Avenue Elementary School, and the uh, park with the tennis courts were put in in the, in the 60s, mid-60s through uh, early 70s. After that, there was no more fishing in that area. All of these places were swimming holes, too. And you could swim around and everything, and a couple of hours later, if you wanted to fish for trout, they would not be scared of all the commotion in the water, and you could limit out. So uh, fishing opportunities have diminished somewhat in Pearl River, but uh, there are still opportunities if you're in good physical shape to hike up and down the brooks here in town. Well, thank you very much for um, listening, and uh, I will be back again next week with another tale of interesting history. Thank you. Stay safe.